Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? In NBA 2K25, you can go to the fives in the rec in the Pro-Am. You will see taller center, 7'7", 199 O board, whereas when you go to the park, it's a lot different. It's smaller bigs, 6'9", 6'8", and the meta height for the bigs in the park, 6'7". That's what you guys are going to be seeing me using today. I just made this build a couple of days ago. These are the first few gameplays I got on the build. 99 overall, but I only have all the badges on silver. I don't have any hot spots. Even though that is the case, you can see I'm knocking down my shots. This build, 6'7", max wingspan. I'm going to make a video on the build so you guys can see how I made it. I did make it a bit different compared to what a lot of people do with their locks. Me personally, when I have a lock, I want to be able to score on the build. I want to be great at defense, but I don't want to be a liability where people can just ignore me, where they can put a point guard. So you guys will see the interesting things I did with the build. But for the video today, we're really just focused on how well this build can fit into the game modes of twos, of threes. You guys see right there, I got the sharpshooting takeover, so I'm able to hit a step back three on him. Anybody can make a small ball center, six, seven, six, eight, six, nine, and do what I'm doing. I'm setting some screens. I'm popping the centers I'm going against you guys can see they're a bit slower they're the taller bigs the six foot eight the six foot nine you can see right here too man Jimmy Butler hop jumper it's a nice move to have in your bag to get an open shot like I said this build is a lock it's primarily focused on defense but being able to score on the mismatches, being able to score consistently, not just being a spot-up shooter, is going to help your team out a lot. Because you guys have seen it. You can make guards. You can make wings. You can make bigs. Have really good defense. You don't really have a defensive liability you're going against for the most part. When you're running a lineup like this, especially on the twos, if you made the small ball six foot seven big man, your hope is that you can pick and roll, pick and pop. The guard can get himself open and he can get an open shot, an open dunk. And if the big drops like he does right here, you can pop, get the wide open three. And offense is as simple as that. Now, there are going to be cases where the guard is playing really good defense. So I have to be a bit more offensive on this build. I got to be able to go to a dribble pull up. I got to be able to go to a post hop shot. I got to be able to do something to get us a bucket so the offense doesn't stall out right here you can see this man he doesn't want to post me up even though i'm six foot seven and that really is why these builds work so well if seven footers seven ones could just drop step and dog six foot seven six foot eight six foot nine bigs then they would not be as good as they are in the park but for one thing, a lot of people do not know how to post up with their bigs. Yes, if you play 1v1 Proving Grounds 2v2, you know, you go to the stage, you play some really comp tall bigs, then they're going to be very good at taking advantage of the smaller matchup. But if you're playing park, if you're playing twos, if you're playing threes, it's a whole different world. Now, this build I made 6'7 max wingspan. I do have 82 interior defense. I got the post move lockdown on silver, so I can definitely bang with the bigs. They're not just going to baby me. They're not just going to spin off of me. Being, and you can see right here, man, this build does not have too much dunking, but the dunking I put on it is going to be able to get me consistent animations right here. I catch the ball. I go to the dribble pull up 80 mid range. The taller bigs are going to have a hard time playing against these smaller centers. I mean, he's got to watch the mid range fades. He's got to watch the post shots. He's got to watch the dunks. He's got to watch the pick and roll. You know, if his guard gets clipped, he's got to step or it's going to be a wide open three. If he does that, I can run down to the rim with my high 80 speed. You know, his speed's more in the 60, the 50 range, even possibly. It's not going to be possible for him to keep up. And once again, man, that is why the best height for a center in the park is six foot seven you guys know it you guys have seen it these builds are pretty much pure lockdowns they got the speed where they can switch on the guards they can play the pick and roll very well and they, like i said they're not missing out on anything you would think you know six foot seven how are they going to play interior defense good they're almost the same height as a tall guard as a wing but the interior defense is great you would think they're rebounding you know even though they got good rebounding stats are they going to be able to get boards over tall bigs with long wingspan and again, they're able to jump high because of their vertical. They're able to get in position because of their speed. If you primarily play park, the twos, the threes, and you're wanting to make a big man, then a six foot seven max wingspan is the way to go. Being able to pick and roll, being able to pick and pop, you can play lock with this build. You can guard any center, whether they're also a small ball center at six foot seven, or if they're a taller seven foot seven one center, you're going to be able to hold it down. If you play threes, you can actually use two of these builds on the court. You could have one play lock and you have one play against bigs. You could play sides. You can play lanes like crazy. The 
hold up an interceptor. They're not going to be able to make easy passes. Now, fives is a different story. I mean, if you're going up against a 7 foot one 99 O board center in the wreck, yes, you can definitely hold your own. You can see steel right there. I got the 2A tenacity. So that shot in the corner is always going to be green. But you can definitely hold your own against other bigs. But by far, in a way, the meta for fives is going to be a 7-footer, a 6'11", a 7'1". Just being able to be a bigger body to set a little bit better screens because even though this build sets pretty decent screens on the twos, it's definitely the ability to quickly pop out, to quickly dive to the hoop taking it advantage of the other build's lack of speed you're going against. And when there's more players on the court, you know, the popping ability becomes a bit tougher. People are able to pinch over more. There's not as much space. You see on the twos, I can pop anywhere on this build. I can quickly go to the wing. I can quickly go to the corner. As long as I'm able to knock down the shot and on a build like this, 79 three-pointer, you know, the shooting badges are pretty decent. You're able to knock down any shot you want to take, especially too, if you're using a sharp shooting takeover that can definitely come in handy. I recommend using Glass Gunner. You get a bonus to your defensive rebound, your offensive rebound, and your three-point shooting. It's going to give you the marksman ability, and all of those things are super valuable. Being able to have the marksman activated, being able to have the higher three-pointer whenever you're popping, whenever you're taking a lot of threes, because teams will dare you to shoot on a build like this. They're not going to let the guard cook up all game. Whenever you're popping out, the center is going to see if you could shoot. Early on in NBA 2K25, before the patch, I mean, that was the meta. You just let a lock, a popper shoot all the shots, and he's going to miss eventually. But on 2K25 post-patch, people are going to make those. Good poppers are going to be consistent. And now, you know, as a big man, you're going to have to step. You're going to have to guard the pop, and then that's going to leave a wide open drive for the guard. Maybe you try to switch, but again, you don't want to get the big on the guard to get iso And on this build specifically, if they put a guard on me, I'm going to be able to post spin them. I'm going to be able to post hop them. I'm going to be able to take advantage of the matchup. If you guys find yourself playing a lot of every mode, a lot of park, a lot of rec, it's definitely nice to have a big center and a small center. But if you can only make one, you can definitely still make it work with a taller center you know 611 might be best a little in between height to be able to play all modes a seven footer a seven one can still work on the twos on the threes but you're going to be at a disadvantage playing against these super fast six seven centers in the comments let me know what height you use as your main center build playing park whether that's twos whether that's threes if you're a big fan of the taller centers of the smaller centers right here i end up getting the ball in a weird position but i'm able to go to the dribble pull up a really cool thing too as well is you know there are some dribble pull ups you can't get because your shooting ratings are lower i don't get the kevin durant dribble pull up but pro 2 which is one of the best dribble pull ups in the game has no requirement as long as you reach the height requirements the kobe post hop that i got at starter four there's no rating requirements so i'm able to get it just based on my height you can see too we've been doing a lot of pick and roll a lot of pick and pop but just letting beast iso me stand in the corner with this build watching the big i mean it's easy if he drops i get dotted wide open not right there beast you know he doesn't have the best pass act on this build so unfortunately that leads to a turnover but since we both have super high steel since we both got good defense on our builds we're able to get an easy stop if you guys did enjoy the video man as i knocked down the three-pointer right here if you do want to drop a like and subscribe of course i do appreciate it a ton and this is tonic man i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out